Hey everyone, it's Ron, and you're watching what Ron plays. And as you can see, I'm about to start a throwback series. Um, if you remember, we have done quite a few Fallout 76 videos, but I saw the sale that they were just having on Fallout New Vegas, and I thought, you know what? Let me play one of the oldies but goodies. Um, this game is still actually quite popular on Steam, has like 20, 25,000 concurrent players all the time, so I thought, what the heck, as you've seen, if you haven't, I've got my trusty little, uh, my trusty little power armor guy here, it's pretty cool, I've got, let me see what else we got, I've got my little pit boy, of course, my vault boy, got him going on, so I've got a lot of stuff that I've, I've collected over time, got my t-shirts, of course, um, Nuka Cola t-shirts, all kinds of stuff. I've played a lot of Fallout 4. Um, back then it was all on the console. Also played New Vegas all the way through. I played Fallout 4 all the way through. Um, you know, Fallout 76 quite extensively. So I said, what the heck? You know, it's a popular game. Lots of people like playing it. Um, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to take a shot and see what we can do. Um, this the old school games. I've got all the add-ons installed except for the high resolution textures. Those haven't come out yet. Um, not too worried about that. I do not have any Creation Club items and I do not have any mods set up. So I do have everything loaded on Ultra um, as far as video. So we should be good to go. I don't think we'll have any problems there. Um, and I've already done a sound check. So I think the volume is going to be okay with. So with all that being said, Let's start our Fallout 4 journey and see where it takes us. Um, as you can see, I can't load anything. I don't have a game already in there. So we are starting from scratch. I don't know that I'm going to try anything fancy. You know, you've got people that have tried to get all the way through with no weapons, uh, no armor, things like that. I don't think we're going to do that. I think we're just going to um, spend the time together, play through the game, check it out. You know, if, if I do anything extravagant or extraordinary... You know, I'll make sure I include that in the in the titles of the games or the videos. Um, so, you know, we'll see if if things go well. Um, we'll have a lot of fun together. We'll enjoy the time together. And um, I'm looking forward to Starfield. I did see the the 45 minute preview to that one. I tried to get the Constellation package, but it was sold out like almost instantly. Um, I'm still going to try and get it so you can get the cool smartwatch and stuff. I like that kind of thing. Um, as you can see, you know, I bought the whole, I don't know where it is around here, but I War. bought the whole Fallout 76 package, so it's kind of cool. Well, let's listen to the intro. War never changes. In the year 1945, my great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. But instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid for myself, for my wife, for my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing, it's that war, war 
never changes. War never changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the Veterans Hall tonight, hun. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. It's kind of close, I guess. Oh, this is where you like can, can sculpt it. I don't need to go that far. Damage. <laughs> should, I, should I put damage on him? Let me see. I don't even know how to do it. Oh, yeah, there we go. We got some like scars and stuff. Look at that. Okay, I, I don't want to be damaged. Let's see. Uh, I don't know that we need to do like sculpting or anything. Facial hair. There we go. I mean, I gotta make it look a little like me, right? I don't have like the chops on the side. Yeah, I guess that's close. Oh, there we go. That's almost exactly Ooh, right. I like the beard. Except for the color. Oh, that's me. Yeah, I guess I'm kind of tan right now, I guess. I feel burned, but... Um, I thought we were going to go with the facial hair color. Maybe not. Uh, yeah, I mean, to be honest, it's, it's been a long time since I played this game, so it's going to be kind of cool. Like, kind of going back and seeing what everything's like. Um... I really thought you could do the color, but I guess not. Is I keep seeing something zooming by in the background, but I think it's a it's a robot. I was like, is that a guy in power armor? That would be a little odd, but body. Oh no, see that's not it. No, see, so you have to like. <laughs> I don't get too carried away. I don't want to pudge out too much there. No. Maybe, uh, yeah, maybe that's more like it. What's going on there? It's kind of sad, but okay. I mean, I think this is close enough. I don't want to get too carried away. I mean, I can go on all the face and all that, but I think, I think, uh, you know, as long as the hair is realistic, I get, well, I mean, the hair is not even really realistic, but we'll go with it. I'll give myself a little extra hair up top, but, you know, what are you going to do? I think, yeah, I I actually enjoy playing the game um, from a third-party perspective. So, I know a lot of people don't like that, ah, good but... Good morning, sir. Your coffee. Good morning. Grognak the Barbarian in the Jungle of the Bat Babies. And it's my favorite. Just delivered. Thanks, Kazuwa. don't think I can start, like, grabbing everything yet. As you guys know from Fallout 76, I'm like, uh... I <laughs> like, go crazy just grabbing everything. I would grab everything. Globes are the best. Now, if I remember right... Sugar bombs. 100% daily value of sugar. And I... And I have the Sugar Bombs t-shirt, of course. <laughs> You know, I was nervous at first, but Codsworth's really good with Sean. Huh? Wow, look at you. How a girl like me ever get so lucky, huh? Yeah, no kidding. Nervous? Don't be. Everyone's gonna love the speech. The speech? Uh, I'm not mistaken, I thought like a vault tech guy comes to the door. Oh yeah, look at his little truck out there here he comes ding dong can you get that it's probably oh. that salesman he comes for you every day every day nice good morning vault tech calling good morning isn't it 
Just look at that sky out there. <clears throat> you can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. Mm -hmm. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. This has got timeshare written all over it, I'm telling you. What's so important? Why, nothing less than your entire future. If you haven't noticed, sir, My entire this country future. has gone to heck in a handbasket. If you'll excuse my language, the big kaboom is... It's inevitable, I'm afraid. And coming sooner than you may think. The big kaboom. You catch my meaning? Nice. Now, I know you're a busy fellow, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being a... Uh, mm -hmm, a precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault 111. Hmm. Huh. But there's room for my entire family, right? Of course, of course. Minus your robot, naturally. In fact, you're already cleared for entrance. It's just a matter of verifying some information. Don't want there to be any holdups in the unforeseen event of <laughs> total atomic annihilation. <laughs> Won't take but a moment. Wait, this guy is like so full of like, he just isn't he? Sure, let's do it. Splendid. Splendid. Now, uh, <clears throat> let's see. All right, here we go. Let's see. So I like, <laughs> as you guys know, I like to carry stuff. So we're definitely going to need plenty of strength. Uh, Perception is good. Endurance. Uh, not too worried about endurance. Charisma. Oh, people have to like us. Intelligence. That's good because we're going to have to be. We're going to have to pick locks. We're going to have to pick computers. Um, computer terminals. Let's see. We'll do. Oh, we do like luck. Let me go up with the luck a little bit. Um, oh, that's as nice too, though. Um, yeah, I'm not so worried about critical hits. Hmm. Yeah, I do like. Really do like uh, charisma. So we'll we'll just we'll go with this. I think. I'll go with that. It's not letting me accept down there. Why isn't it letting me accept? I just want to accept. Oh. Eh. Gotta name my character. I didn't catch that. There you go. And let's do you. Oh, wait. I tried to type. That didn't work. Ronicus Maximus. I don't know if it wants like two names or not. I don't know, but we'll find out, I guess. All right now, I can. Uh, now I can Wonderful. accept. That's everything. Uh, just gonna walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Um, thanks again. Hey, it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. Sir, Sean has been changed, but he absolutely refuses to calm down. I think he needs some of that paternal affection. You heard hey, Cosworth. Cosworth. Go on. Sir, if I may, Sean requires your personal attention. A boy needs his father after all. Where is this little nugget? Let me go find him. Where is he? I'm sure I'm walking awfully slow. Hey, little buddy. How are the two most important men in my life doing? Spin the mobile a bit. He loves that. Oh, yeah. Little missiles flying around. Much you think we're going to see that in a few minutes? Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. Yeah, Sounds sure, like why not? Sir, Mom, you should come and see this. Cosworth, uh -oh. what's wrong? Just 
Go see what's up. Yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes, sounds of explosions. We're uh, trying to get confirmation. What? We seem to have lost contact with saying? our affiliate stations. People we outside are like hugging each other. We do have coming in. That's um, confirmed reports. I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. My God. Oh my God. We we need to get to the vault now. I've got Sean. Let's go. Residents of Sanctuary Hills, if you are registered, evacuate to Vault 111 immediately. If you're registered, if you're not, die! <laughs> Come on, Nora. Okay. That guy messing with his suitcase. I just gotta stay behind Nora, I gotta make sure she gets in there. Trying to talk to him. We need to get in. We're on the list. Infant, adult male, adult female. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Good luck, ma'am. Come on, Nora. What's going to happen to all those people outside the gate? Everything we can. Now keep moving. They're all going to die. <laughs> Basically. What are we doing? Is she waiting for me? I don't want to wait for her. I, I got to wait for her. She's got to go in first. Come on. Come on, Nora. Almost there. We're gonna be okay. I love you. Both of you. We love you too. Oh my god! Okay, you should probably uh drop it quick. Hold on! That was very dramatic. Okay, what happened? I hope Nora's not like burnt to a crisp. Oh no, we're alright. You sparks we going? We made it. We're okay. That was kind of crazy. Please step off the elevator and proceed up the stairs in an orderly fashion. No need to worry, folks. We'll get everyone situated in your new home. Vault 111. A better future underground. So we just... Yes, up the stairs. I can't believe it. If we left a minute later... Come on, Nora. No, no. We don't be. Don't get caught up thinking about that. You're safe now. Everyone, Come on. just head up these stairs and through the door there. Up the stairs and through the door. For you. Mail. All new residents, please Bye, proceed in an orderly fashion. Good. Welcome home. Man, it's this been a long time since I played this. Mail. It's interesting though, because a lot of stuff in Vault 76 is the same, or in uh, Fallout 76 is the same. Right over there. Just step over to the I mean, you can't expect them to over use there. a different, a you know, a different door, because it's like the symbol of fallout so you know why is this jamoke in my way then head down the hall you'll need your suits before we can take you further get out of the way mr mr abel excuse me that elevator so slow dude we we made it take your suit you'll need it uh thanks what now? Just follow the doctor here. He'll show you where to go. All right, you three. Follow me. That guy looks sketchy. This is our new home. Oh, you're gonna love it here. This <laughs> is one of our most advanced facilities. Not that the others aren't great, mind you. It's gone. Our home. Everything we had. My mother and father down in D.C. How, how long do you think we'll be down here? I know this is a bit oh, we'll be going over all that in orientation. Oh, just a couple Mr. bazillion years. We have to get through first. Decide to be fashionable as well as comfortable. Prepared for the future, right?
Just step in here and put your vault suit on. Shh. It'll be okay. Daddy's right here. See? Who's my little guy? I'm not going far. I'll just be over, over there. There he is. Let's see, I gotta figure out how to like get to my. All set. Just step inside and put on your vault suit. I gotta remember how to uh, how to get to my inventory. Which one should I get in? Oh, I don't get in that one. Better talk to Nora. Hey, hon. Go ahead. I just want to give Sean a moment. Wait, I'm going in first? Oh, come on. That's that's about as jinky as it gets. Okay, I guess I put the suit on. I just can't get to my inventory yet. Contaminate and depressurize you before we head deeper in the vault. Just relax. <sighs> Time for a whole new life. Resident secure. Yeah, I don't think they told us they're gonna freeze us. Normal. Procedure complete. I don't think they told us about the whole freezing thing. That is fairly jinky. I won't do any spoilers, but at least the premise of Fallout 4 is really good. I mean, you definitely have a, a motivated purpose. Well, I'm thawing out. I don't know. This is the one. Here. Open it. Look at the bald guy. just didn't happen. Oh, oh, oh no, is that dude in trouble? Okay, I don't think it's going to be too much of a spoiler to let you know that guy's going to have some pain coming down on him. You messed with the wrong guy. I'm not even gonna like bury her. Yeah, I can't really open anybody else, I don't think. So it's interesting because the controls seem a little more sloppy than Fallout 76. Like I drift for a little bit more when I. Yeah, I can't get anything open. So where's my. I get to my my inventory. Hmm. That ain't it. Well, no. Nope. Used up some AP there. 
Hmm. Not there. I'll figure it out. I have to, right? <laughs> it's kind of fun kicking that thing around, not gonna lie. Okay, I'm ready to start punching stuff. There's like pretty much every vault resident looks to be dead except me. Way to go, uh, vault tech. Way to kill everybody. Yep, everybody's frozen to a crisp. I mean, maybe they're still working, but they're not looking too good. Obviously, I have to go to that marker, so let me get over there. Here we go. My collection addiction begins. Of course, my my predilection to just completely ignoring the markers. Now, how'd I go from over there? Because the marker was right here. <laughs> it was right there, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this kind of nice that it tells you what's inside. I don't think... I think Fallout 76, it doesn't tell you what's inside. You actually have to click on it first. So that's kind of nice. Nothing else? Doesn't look like anything else would contain anything. But I know there's at least one rad roach in there somewhere. But, uh, I'll have to bare fist in. Unless I can do... Hmm. Now maybe I'll quick save just for the heck of it, but I'm not sure why I can't get to my. So that's just quick use. Maybe I can only have one weapon at a time. I can carry one, but maybe I can't switch it on the fly like this. I could swear I can. We'll figure it out. Oh look at that! I got a little baton now. Nice. That'll teach you a lesson, Giant. mister. Roaches? What the hell? Oh, you ain't seen nothing yet, my friend Ronicus Maximus. There was one in the window over here, wasn't there? Oh yeah, there he is. I got you, buddy. Oh, there's more than one. There's a flying one. Look, do I get all panicky and like whack him like ten times? Hey. Back off. Oh, I like stomped on him, I think. That's right. That's pretty awesome. What happened here? Where is everyone? How do I activate a skeleton? I don't know if I want to go down in there. I doubt I can repair whatever's going on, so I'll just ignore that. Oh, clipboard. Clipboards. Because they have springs. Let's see. Okay. Sorry about Rocky. My dog's being very barky today again. And it's funny because when I shoot these videos I say, well, he's not normally that barky, but he's always barking. Got this Doberman neighbor that just, a dog like never stops barking. So he gets, he gets Rocky riled up every once in a while. Is this all that's left? Nice. Plenty of stim packs. Down with that. Let's see. You know, I was thinking about playing Skyrim. I still kind of am. Not gonna lie, but kind of miss the. I'm bound to carry your burdens. See, so now I have multiple handguns, so. Nice. Coming back later for you. Oh yeah. Have to be a master lockpick to get that one out. So we're just gonna kinda keep learning on the fly because to be honest, some of the stuff I just don't remember. We'll figure it out. I always play it on the on the Xbox, so 
on the PC, I am, I am using my Turtle Beach. Um, I'm using my Turtle Beach Xbox controller, so I assume all the controls are the same. So we'll see. So I go there. So I can use a security baton or the pistol. So I've got two of them, it says. All right. I got you. Terminal only. Terminal? We love terminals. The overseer's terminal, too. It's looking a little, it's looking a little raggedy, to tell you the truth. So you guys know I'm also not a huge proponent of like reading all these things out loud, so I will pause after each one so you can read it if you want. So more than welcome to check things out. The cry later. Yeah, we can't really do anything with that because we need to be able to break into it. Sometimes you have the ability to unlock them via the terminals, but I don't think that's happening here. I think that's uh, way too beefy of a weapon this early in the game. That will give you a chance to pause and read it if you'd like. Let's check out the staff duty. Some people really like the lore of the game, so I, I can take it or leave it to be to be perfectly honest. So we got that. You can pause it there. We'll check out that one. Atmospheres, atmosphere leaks. I think that might have happened. Just throwing a guess out there. Right. We go back up one, go down there. Yeah, I don't think the all clear message ever came out. Oh, I just need to find that uh, bald looking guy that stole my kid. That's what I need to do. All right, overseer's log. Okay, that's a lot of stuff. All right. So we got that. October 23rd. All right. So I'm hoping I'm giving you enough time to pause this. I should be able to. Because, I mean, obviously you can keep it paused as long as you'd like. So let's see. Supply is running low. That's not good. 180 day. That doesn't seem like very long, to be honest. Mutiny? <laughs> Just idiots. Nice. So I think that's it. Opening evacuation tunnel. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, I'm not sure we want to go outside and see what's going on out there, but... There. Didn't like that, did you? Weren't a big fan of dying. Oh, geez. Look at me talking all that smack, and I can't hit him for, for nothing. That's gonna be a nice one. I'm having to remember how the fast works. Yeah, it works different here, because you can choose how many bullets you want to fire at a certain spot. I don't know if I like that better than, like, the Fallout 76 version of it. It'll take a little bit of getting used to, so you'll have to, have to bear with me a little bit on that one. Obviously, I have to get better weapons. 
There's got to be more of you guys around here. This vault isn't very big. It it kind of makes me suspicious because, like, you know, all they really had was, like, cryogenic tubes in here. I don't see, like, any, like, living quarters at all. So I think it's kind of jinky. It's interesting because Vault 76, you know, they had, they had rooms and everything and they had places you could stay, living quarters. Oh, I tried to, <laughs> I just tried to turn my, my pit boy, uh, light on him. Uh, I'm not wearing a pit boy. There we go. So I... I kind of like this bats better, I think. Wish these skeleton guys had some some stuff on. There's the pit boy. That's what I need. Just don't mind me, I'll just take the skeleton hand out of it. Put it on, buddy. So now I'll probably be able to see my inventory. Nice. Yeah, wipe the screen off for gosh sakes. Yes. The pit boy. There we go. Now. Now we're cooking with gas. So this is very much like the uh very much like Fallout 76, so that'll be a lot more familiar when I get to it doing which thing? That. Alright. Sorry, just checking with my uh, with my controller. Oh, we gotta go back and open the vault. Oh, look at that. Nice. Not sure how I knew that, but. Jumpsuit. Don't know that I'll actually need that, but oh, I can use those those rounds of ammunition though. I don't see any more lockers anywhere. Nice. Like I don't want to go. Pick up the folders in this one? You can't. Nice. So, it's kind of interesting because you're about to step out into a whole world of nonsense. There's got to be a button to push or something around here, right? I don't think I have to climb up the ladder. Stand within the circle. Here we go. So this is where um, it's kind of no going back. Either have to, you can change your appearance or change your attributes now. But after this, you can't do anything. So we're gonna stick with what we got. We're gonna go up. Enjoy your return to the surface, and thank you for choosing Vault Tech. Nice. Level one. It says crouching will be. Will both improve your accuracy and activate sneak mode. You like sneak mode. It's a little bright up here, ain't it? All right, chill out, dude. Don't freak out too bad. But yeah, it's looking a little rough out there. Your town is like a wreck. Of that man you know what I just I get this like feeling man I just love this game I'm just looking at it and I like know the adventure that's coming up and it's gonna be pretty darn cool so um, I think we'll call it for this video um, 
just wanted to be able to exit the vault, get out of it, and from here on out, we're going to be just freewheeling all over the map, so it'll be pretty cool. Um, I thank you for joining me. If you like this video, please click like, subscribe to the channel to help it grow. I'm going to put a whole lot more Fallout 4 videos out there, and make sure you click that notification bell to be notified of the future videos. And with that being said, I want to thank you again for joining me. I'm Ron, and you're watching what Ron plays.